Well, good morning, Roger. Good morning, Laura. <laughs> uh, we are here today to uh, talk about the uh, memorial on Main Street uh, in downtown Burlington. Um, I was first uh, introduced to the memorial when I had volunteered with the uh, VFW to do some cleanup around it. And I had no idea that it was the memorial just around the corner from the VFW that uh, I was going to be cleaning up around. So then I found out about the plaques inside, and that was like really interest to me because I was like, you know, this building is closed up and, you know, we need to do something. We need to try and save this building. So I went around and started doing petitions. And I got so much information from so many people. Uh, one uh, guy had said, you know, my dad brought me here to see Muhammad Ali. And another couple of ladies said they came to see Tina Turner. And there was Johnny Cash. There was basketball games. There was so much entertainment in this building that I couldn't believe that it was the same building that I was passing every day coming into town. And it was closed up. But then I started feeling really bad and sentimental about the plaques that are in there. Uh, the plaques of our heroes that died for this country are now, I, I've been here eight years. I came to Vermont in 2015. So in my eight years, and I don't know how long actually the building has been closed up, but they've been entombed in there. And I don't know of all the damage that's in the building. I do hear there was damage in the roof, uh, the ceiling. So I don't know about water damage, mold, mildew, but these are plaques of our heroes and they deserve better. Um, it's, you know, it's a building now that sits a half a block away from a VFW, our post that just got torn down. And that's another sad story. Um, <clears throat> I come from New Jersey, Point Pleasant uh, Beach, and I was brought up in, with parents. My father was a veteran. My mother had eight brothers, six served. Uh, our whole neighborhood basically was veterans, family or just neighbors that lived in the area. And they were all very much uh, well respected and they respected everything around uh, the community. So this was my first time being exposed to a VFW that was going to get torn down and a memorial right up the street around the corner that is closed up. And I just thought, you know, it was, it was new for me because I thought, you know, with the respect that I was brought up with for veterans, all veterans, um, it was just both situations were painful for me. Uh, but I saw Roger. We had met once before at an MPA meeting uh, when my building on 567 St. Paul had, had a fire a year ago, May. And uh, But we met again at the convention in South Burlington this year, and I brought this to Roger's attention. Right. And he was telling me how he felt about it. Yep. And yeah, good, good. Yeah, uh, yeah. My name's Roger Brassard, and uh, I've lived here all my life. And my first memories of going into the Memorial Auditorium was my father took me in there uh, to see the Harlem Globetrotters when I was about six years old. Um, uh, Lenore is right. Uh, there's been so much history involved in this building. Uh, from bands to uh, all kinds of entertainment. Uh, uh, the high schools, local high schools graduated their classes there. Uh, Champlain College played basketball there. So the history of this building is incredible. And the Memorial Auditorium obviously is a memorial to those, and those plaques were dedicated and, and made out for World War I veterans. And um, I have no idea how many of there are, but I remember my mother saying my brother's name is up there. Well, that piqued my interest. That's when I really discovered what this was all about. So one of those plaques has my uncle's name, and uh, he was a veteran of World War I um, and got into a mustard gas attack, and uh, his system was never right, and I think he died in 1923, very, very young man. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there's a lot of history here. Um, we don't know what the composition of these plaques are. We're, we assume that they're either brass or bronze. Um, members of the VFW post in, in Burlington went over to clean them years ago. If they're, bra if they're brass, they need, they need attention. Because uh, and, and, uh, brass can develop uh, what they call a, uh, some sort of a metal reaction disease. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, and without getting inside there and seeing what the condition of these plaques are, we have no idea, you know, what we can do. 
um, if the building is torn down, these plaques need to be, uh, they need to be taken down, they need to be conserved someplace, at least until uh, a deposition can be made as to where they're going to be put up. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see, I'd love to see the VFWs adopt them, but I'd also love to see, since it's a Burlington thing, I'd love to see some sort of a, a sheltered memorial where these plaques could be put up and taken care of so that future generations go, can go back and see just exactly um, uh, yeah. where this all came from. So. Yeah, yeah, and I had been speaking with uh, Ben Travers, who is a friend of mine. Uh, we ran against each other a couple years ago for city council. And I had brought this topic up to him, and uh, the last conversation we had, he was trying to get in touch with the person that could get us into the building right. so we could see what these plaques look like, what type of condition that they're in, and how many there are. Right. So that's where we stand right now. Uh, like Roger said, we are hoping that, uh, and a couple people did speak out and say they would, that veterans or legions or VFWs would take these plaques in on an adoption if they have to all be split up until there's a place to put all of them and hang them for the respect and the dignity that they deserve. Um, like the interesting thing was when I was doing petitions, I was walking up and down Church Street and in the parks and everything, and I was taking signatures, and this one person said to me, he says, well, I don't live here. I said, but that doesn't matter. A memorial belongs to all of us. <laughs> They right. all fought for our country, every single piece of it. It doesn't matter what state you come from, a memorial is still a part of your history. Right. So that's why we're here. Uh, we're hoping that we can get in to the memorial. Um, I think Ben is still working on that. And check out and see what type of condition they're in because they deserve better. They really do deserve better. Uh, I've never lived in a state, this is my fourth state that I've lived in, I've never lived in a state where I've actually seen a, a memorial and a VFW within feet of each other. <laughs> and one being torn down and the other one being just closed yeah. up to just, I guess, fall apart. I don't know what they're going to do with it. Yeah. But uh, it's sad. Yeah. It's sad. And we have to show more respect to our veterans. Um, they may not be here in flesh, but they are in memory and their plaques are in there to tell their history. And I think that's something we should cherish and respect and do something right for these guys. Yeah. The, uh, my biggest fear um, is that the building would be torn down and these plaques not uh, not going, being torn down with them, and, and it's happened before. It happened, yes. it happened up in Swanton when the VFW post was torn down there. Uh, they forgot about the plaques that were inside of it, and the building was torn down, and the contractor found these plaques and brought them out, restored them, and if you go into the Obishans hardware store in Swanton, you'll see on the back wall all these preserved plaques. So things like this happen, yeah. and we definitely don't want to see that happening no, to this down here. This, there's just way too much history involved in this, so. Right, and that's what you call the utmost respect for someone that bought the property, the VFW's tearing down, and then to take over the plaques and have them restored and hang them in the same spot on the property but in a different building. Please. So that is, I give that guy really good, a good thumbs up, that's, that's great. So that's our issue. That's our story. Um, we just really want to have some positivity come out of yep. the plaques there. Yeah. Uh, like I've said and I'll say it again a million times over and over, they're our heroes. Yep. And yep. they died for this country and they deserve more respect than to still be hanging on the wall in a building that is basically desecrated and, yep. you know, not going to be used for anything anymore because I doubt if anybody has the type of money to fix the building up. Right. Right. And it was Burlington, Vermont state, period, uh, a money maker. Yes, it was. <laughs> I couldn't understand why the building was not taken care of properly uh, when you had so many things that we've discussed, mm -hmm. uh, Harlem Trotters, yep. Muhammad Ali, yes, I mean. Right. This was a money maker. I'm sure people came from states away yep. to see the entertainment that downtown Burlington had to offer. That's right. So um, that's our goal. That's our, our goal. goal is to try and find a home yep. for yep. these veterans and once that we, deserve one. Once we get access to the building, uh, we would pr we would be happy to come back and let you know uh, the condition of what's, on, uh, what's inside and, and uh, maybe we can figure out what we can do with these plaques in the future. Thank you yes. very much. Yes, thank you and God bless all of our troops everywhere.